Jiggy cat on a damn feeling spree. This is not good, so and you can't mimic my energy. 100 round drum and be hanging like a centipede. Hey everyone, it's me, Nagato's Adventure, and welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having a great day for today and happy Monday. For today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to install MGBA version 0.8.1, which is the latest version as I am recording this, onto your modded PlayStation Vita as well as for your modded PlayStation TV. With that being all out the way, we're just going to go ahead and get straight into the prerequisites, and everything that I will state will be in the link in the description down below, just like any of my other videos, of course. So, first things first, you'll need a modded PlayStation Vita that is already hacked. So, if you have a console via using like the trinity exploit and kaku h on core h on core 2 you're basically good to go as long as your device can run unsigned code and basically utilize vita show you're good to go speaking of um, this process and this method this does work from version firmwares of 3.60 to 3.73 for today's video i'm going to be testing this on my p i was about to call it a psp my ps vita 1000 that is on a 3.60 utilizing hankaku enzo of course you need a latest build of vita show i'll have that in the link in the description down below as well you also need mgba 0.8.1 which is i which i stated is the latest build also as well you'll need your game boy advanced roms with this um actual standalone emulator um game boy uh original games and as well as game boy color games works for this process so that is pretty cool so if you wanted to utilize um you know those two uh rom sets from those you know separate consoles you can as well um for today's file transfer method you can either use follow the fdb client um via using like your wi-fi or you can use a usb charging cable which i do recommend if you're trying to transfer over you know a ton of you know games for your gba collection but with all of that getting out the way let's go on to the pc and the ps vita to get this set up Alrighty everyone, assuming that you guys did follow all the prerequisites as stated in the intro, we basically are ready to go and get ready on the Vita side of things first. So as of right now, you should be on a modified console. You can see clearly I have Homebrew on here. And the first thing what we want to do is open up Vita Shell. If you guys don't already have Vita Shell, I will put that in the link in the description down below. But all we need to do first is just open up Vita Shell and then just wait for it to launch. So that's what I'm doing here. Let me go ahead and back out. And now what you want to do is go ahead and get ready to set up your transfer file method. So whether if you want to use a USB cable like I am using today, which I recommend. So if you guys are having, you know, uh, you know, a large amount of games that you want to transfer over for this process, uh, I do recommend uh, using a USB connection since it's just faster via rather than a um, FTP connection only due to the fact because you know FTP goes off your internet speeds but what you want to do first is go into start on your Vita if you're trying to you know FTP your stuff over just make sure that the select button is set to FTP or as for me since I'm going to do this over USB and if you guys want to follow along that way make sure um once you hit start on your um, PlayStation Vita that the select button is select to USB for your file transfer method but once that is fully done as well all you got to do is hit select on your device on your Vita you'll see something that will say your USB is connected and if you're on the PC and you have your um, cable connected you should see the actual folder pop up on your PC as of right now what we're going to do is go to the PC and then check out MGBA from the website Alrighty guys, assuming that you did follow all the steps on the PlayStation Vita and you got your um, file connection set up, whether if you're using an actual USB cable or if you're going to be using files that are FTP client, you could, you know, pick and choose the way on how you want to do it. But since I am using USB, um, you can see that my Vita has been already mounted and you can see all of my file folders here, which is going to be important for today since this is going to be the method on how I'm going to be transferring all my files today. What we're going to do is start with the actual website, MGBA. And as you can see, as on um, of this build, February 16th, 2020, um, this was the latest version release of this. And if you want to read more of, you know, the patch notes and see some of the fixes that this build has to offer, you could go ahead and um, read it via here. I will have this in the link in the description down below. But what we want to do now, um, once you're done reading this, I guess, for your, you know, leisure, you could go to the download section right here. 
and then we're gonna go ahead and install the Vita version. And you can see that um, MGBA has stuff for the Wii, Switch, 3DS, and you know Windows and stuff like that. But since we're doing Vita today, all we gotta do is just click on here, and it will download the latest Vita version. So that's it right here. I already have it on my desktop, but I was just showing you guys on how to download it. Once you guys have it downloaded, you'll need something like Renoir to unzip this file, and all you gotta do once it's un unzipped is just drag it and drop it to the um, PC itself. So that's what I'm just doing here. Since it automatically opened from my downloads folder instead of my desktop, but that's totally fine. Um, if you were doing this from the desktop, all you gotta do is just, if you have one more, track files and then hit okay. And then it'll basically make it the same folder here. But irregardless, once you have the folder, I'm um, extracted out. If I go into the readme m.md, um, you can read more about uh, the emulator itself, some of the features that this build has to offer, uh, something or you know more information about the mappers, um, some planned features, supported platforms, and just you know general um, you know basic information for this actual uh, emulator for MGBA. What we want to do now is go to the mgba.vpk you want to just drag it to our desktop as well since this is going to be the actual application we install and of course without the um games there's no point of installing the emulator which i'm going to be getting into now so what i like to do personally is to create a folder and basically put all of my uh game boy games into you know separate folders so it's more organized and for your my example uh, since I already told you guys in the intro that the MGBA uh, emulator itself can support Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy uh, original Game Boy games, all you gotta do is create a folder, just label it Game Boy, and put your Game Boy games here. I'm using Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle 2, one of my favorite Game Boy games. Uh, GBA, I have a bunch of uh, GBA titles here. And as you see, I only have one title for Game Boy Color, just to show you guys that um, this method does work. But all you would have to do is create a new folder, label it Game Boy or whatever system you're trying to do it for, whether it's Advance or Color, just label that. And then once you have all of your games into one folder, what we're gonna do is go ahead back onto our PlayStation Vita itself. We're gonna transfer over this mgba.vpk. And once that is done, you're basically good to go. And we're gonna go ahead and take all of our games. So maybe, let me put this side by side so you guys can see better. And just drag and drop from here. If you were doing this via with files of FTP client, you'll just drag and drop the contents all over to UX0 once you type your IP in. But since, like I stated, if you're doing like a multitude of uh, Game Boy Advance games, Game Boy Color, um, you know, it could take longer since, you know, if you have a bunch of, you know, games, it could be like four gigabytes and you don't want to transfer over that via with FTP unless you have a really good Wi-Fi or I mean internet connection. But once this is fully done in the next three minutes, what I'm going to do is cut the video out here we're going to just verify that all of our files successfully transferred over to my playstation vita and then we're going to get mgba installed for this process so i'll meet you guys back once this is done Alrighty, so after the three minutes is basically all finished. So let me go into my actual PlayStation Vita. And as you can see here, you can see all of my files successfully transferred over. You can see I have my GBA games here onto the root of the Vita, or actually not in the root, but in the subfolder. You can see I have my Game Boy game here. You can also see that I have the Game Boy Color uh, via right here for Super Mario. And you can see if I could find it, the mgba.vbk. So once you have your VBK, you have your games onto the root of your uh, device, aka your Vita, what we're gonna do is go back into Vita Shell, install mgba.vbk, and then we're gonna go and play some classic MGBA games or Game Boy Advance games. So let's go to the Vita. Alrighty guys, so once you're back into Vita Show as of right now, all you will have to do is go into UX0, so that's what I'm doing here. And then what we're going to do as of right now is go and find the mgba.vpk. You want to go ahead and install this package. Make sure that you already have unsafe homebrew for um, unticked and Hankaku settings, or basically you won't be able to run unsigned code or install vpk packages. So just wait for it to do its thing. Just verify once again that your games are in the correct directories. So you can see I have Game Boy, my GBA game, 
and you can see that I have Game Boy Color. So all I gotta do is go back out for this. And then let me go to the bottom here. You can see that MGBA. We could just go ahead and launch it. And if you look in the right hand corner, you can see that it's version 0.8.1. So that's what I'm doing here. And what I'm doing as of right now, we're gonna find our game. So you wanna go and hit X, scroll all the way down until you find your game. So you, that's why I told you to label it so you'll understand where your games are located at. I'm gonna go to Game Boy Advance and we're just gonna be choosing any random game of choice. I'm gonna do uh, Donkey Kong Country, why not? And I actually think I was already playing this. If you hit actually square on here, you could kind of get like a border, which pretty is pretty cool. And that's how I usually like playing. If I put my Vita to the mic for a second, you could possibly hear, um, you know, Donkey Kong. So you can see that the gameplay is fine if I could play at the moment. But yeah, I'll just do some quick gameplay for you guys. Just to show that the emulator is running. If I could actually play today, I'm actually sucking at this. But the cool thing about this as well. Um, let's say you're done with the game you could have a save state and with that on basically on how to get that menu all you would have to do is hit triangle you could save a state save state one and basically uh if you wanted to restart this game you could uh, restart here let's say you're finished playing donkey kong or whatever game you want to do um there's also you could take a screenshot but you could also go and exit the game it'll take you back out to the main menu um of course the gui isn't so pretty however it's very simple and sometimes simple is you know better instead of something crazy but i'm going to show you guys that uh original game boy games are working so if i go to donkey kong land not too sure why it's tweaking right now. Okay, sorry for the screen. I'm not too sure why I was doing that. But you can see original Game Boy Color games are working for this process as well. If I go back into Exit Game, I'll show you that Bugs Bunny is running as well. Not too sure why that game did it. But you can see um, Bugsy, or I would call it Bugsy, but... Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle 2 works just fine. I used to play this game a lot as a, a kid. But you can see here that the game works fine. I can still toggle, um, you know, full screen if I wanted to. I'm go. Oh man, I'm about to die. But yeah, you can see here um, that Game Boy Color games work, or original Game Boy games. So we're going to go ahead and test out Game Boy Color. Let me go to. UX Zero once again, just to show you guys that. Game Boy Color, Super Mario Bros. You can see here that Super Mario Bros is working just fine. But yeah, essentially that's how you utilize the latest build of MGBA. If you guys do have any questions on how to utilize this build, or if you have any trouble setting this up, you can feel free to join my Discord. But with that being all out the way, my name is Nagato's Revenge, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Hey everyone, it's me Nagato's Revenge here. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. With that being out the way as well, I highly do recommend that y'all guys go ahead and follow my social media so you never miss any of the latest hacking guides and tutorials on my channel by subscribing to me and hitting that notification button as well. It's another method on how you will know when I drop my latest content, whether it be for the Vita, PS4, PS3, and such and so forth. As well, if you want to be in the mix of things and you want to join my official community, you can join via the link right now showcased on the screen and join my discord that way and if you do want to support my channel in any shape or form you could become a patron i will have a card right now but with all of that getting out the way hope you guys really did enjoy this video and i'll see y'all next time peace